Hi folks, I'm Mark Johnson with Artisan Restoration and I'm inspecting a barn up in um, Northfield today that's a Lamella barn and um, it's 95 outside and 100 and something up here. So this is going to be kind of short, but anyhow, a Lamella barns were uh, almost like a geodesic dome. They have the are made out of these two by tens that are cut at, at an arc and they're bolted together with half inch bolts at each one of the intersections. You can see how they're bolted together here and the uh, the roof boards were repurposed. You can see that this was a red barn at one time um, and um, it was taken off of uh, siding of another barn and put on there. And there's a couple of light colored ones which indicate to me that those probably were concrete forms in the past life. And um, they were used to pour um, concrete foundation or something. Um, and the, um, well the siding on here, tongue and droove fir or redwood or I'm not sure what it species is, but it was all pre-finished on the ground because these these drips um, of the of the paint material uh, kind of defy gravity um, when they're horizontal position like this. So um, whoever did that was maybe uh, afraid of climbing up the ladder and doing this whole job uh, off a ladder. But anyhow, the uh, the hay door is uh, got a couple of uh, silo staves on each side here that are used for the counterweight. And then these trusses or buttresses or whatever you want to call them, those things are designed to strengthen the end walls and keep the, um, keep the door in place and prevent the wind from blowing uh, the end wall uh, in. in because um, these horizontal nailers here um, surely weren't um, strong enough to do that. So anyhow, this is the rest of the, the barn here. It's a 34 by 60 um, structure, and it's probably a good 25, 30 peak, feet to the peak. And we've got two ventilation chutes here that are made out of wood that go up through the roof. Um, they've been uh, removed. And the floor is in pretty good shape, although it's um, uh, before the roof got replaced, it leaked a lot. And that's why you got such large gaps in between the floorboards here, because they swelled up with the moisture and they never go back where they belong. So anyhow, that's um, that's it for this barn. It's the first Lamella barn that I've actually seen in person, shall we say. Um, I guess we can do a quick trip downstairs. Then I'm going to run downstairs here for a minute. And they use the lower level for events, and upstairs is kind of off limits. But it's a really well built structure. Oh, you got the party lights on. They're two by 12s, two feet on center. Um, the foundation is the um, this tile block, about 12 inches thick. So that's great, great plenty. And it seems to be in really good, really good condition. So, anyhow, that's the uh, Lamella barn. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye.